right, let's chart a course. Hey, Captain! What is it? I want to ask you a few things. I'm listening. Chart a course. I think it's time we plot a course. Excellent idea. Where do you want to go? Let's go to the uh, lair of the sea people. How about we check out the sea people's lair? You got it. Okay, here we are. I hope you know what you're doing. All right, let's talk to our friends before we go. Uh, lair. Sea people lair. See our progress. You feel right, Simon? I know worse than after we had that Uso the other day. Hey, Simon. Huh? Never mind. Alice? Yes, Ben. That's all. I want to ask you a few things. I'm listening. That's all. Okay, that's all. You can go back to sailing with the boat now. Thank you. Let's take our potion. Here we go. Let's do this. Well, here goes nothing. Oh god, this tastes awful. Feel any different? Not really. I guess I'll have to go underwater to see if it worked. You're just going to go in like that? Don't you have some bathing costume or something? No, nope, I didn't bring my trunks along. Those shoes and trousers are probably going to weigh you down, mate. Simon, are you trying to talk me out of my pants? Yes, Ben, you caught me. I've always wanted to see those manly legs of yours. Come on, you guys. Stop messing around. The potion is going to last all day. Drop them and get in the ocean before it wears off. Better listen to the lady. All right, here I go. Good luck, Ben. Be careful down there. Splash. We're descending into the depths of the sea people's lair. Fighting instinct, you take a deep breath. To your amazement, you find that the potion worked. It's as if you were still breathing air on the surface. <coughs> I'd better start looking for the sea people. Here we go. Wish me luck, guys. A small bright green plant is growing on the rock. Let's get it. Finding yourself strangely attracted to the plant, you take a bit of it. Hopefully it's not radioactive. Alright. It's a piece of glowing seaweed. You find the glow strangely soothing. Let's save our progress. There. Just another bright piece of coral. You don't want to destroy the coral. Alright, let's head on back to, I well, mean, not back, forward. And enemies. A large, colorful starfish has attached itself to a nearby rock. A pair of anemones are growing on the rock there. A pair of enemies are growing on the rock there. We'll look at that. We'll look at that. An octopus is sitting on the rock, almost blending in with it. Oh, wow. The octopus seems to be asleep. Just swimming up and grabbing the octopus probably won't do, be a, such a good idea. Okay, how about using the glowing weed? Let's scare the octopus away. Scare the octopus away. Let's use our net on the octopus. 
All right, there you go. The octopus seems to be asleep, so you take advantage and quickly pull out your homemade net. We got it, folks. We got an octopus. The octopus doesn't look very pleased to be in your possession. You don't want to handle the octopus too much and risk a f face full of ink. Alright. I don't know how that's going to help, but we'll find out. Let's head toward the lair. supposed to go now. This way. Well, here we go. Painting. The, the cave painting shows a man holding some sort of glowing object that he has taken out of a box. He seems to be giving it to a figure in a cloak. Could this be that man I found in the cave of Menatar Island? The cave painting shows a large green creature emerging from the sea. It's dragging a man by the leg. Ah, that has to be a sea person. I guess that means that they were disturbed by the removal of whatever was in the box. I wonder what it could have been. The, the cave painting shows a man with red hair swimming. <gasps> Is that supposed to be me? That's kind of creepy. I, I, I hope this doesn't mean I'm supposed to be naked. It's a prophecy. Rock. It's a large rock with a strange circle in the center. The circle has an indentation which resembles an eight-pointed star. Wow, eight-pointed. You can't move the rock with your strength alone. Okay, let's move. get our octopus. Let's see if that works. Wondering if it will work, you prepare to put the octopus on the circle. Upon nearing the rock, the octopus seems to enter a trance. It calmly places itself into the indentation, as though it had done this many times before. Whoa! Something's happening. There's rumbling. <gasps> the octopus, having served its purpose, quickly swims away. What happened? Must be the entrance, the entrance to the exit or the secret room. What is this? Rocks. A small pile of rocks has formed the sea floor. floor. Let's get those rocks and they can help. You pick up a small rock. Say progress. <coughs> small rock you picked up off the ocean floor. The rock feels like a rock. There's nothing much special about it. Alright. This is it. I found it! It's the Sea People's City! Strange. I sort of expected there to be at least one or two Sea People patrolling outside. <coughs> You find yourself overcome with a feeling of uneasiness. This place doesn't feel right. In fact, it feels dead. Save progress, see people, city. Large structure. It's a large and prominent structure with a golden trident sticking out of the roof. You assume that must be where the king lives. A medium-sized building resembling a temple stands there silently. Behind the three main buildings are several markers. From this distance, you can't tell if they're houses or graves. Let's go. Oh wow, what is this place? Seal. A large seal depicting an octopus and an eight-pointed star design is painted on the floor. 
skeleton. A skeleton sitting on the throne. It looks human, except for the strangely shaped hands and feet. It's a large and elegant throne. It looks as though it was carved from coral. To this mural. A strange mural is pinned on the wall. That is a strange mirror. So I have to put this glowing weed, glowing seaweed here. See this? See the king here? Oh, I have to put it on the rock. Okay. Seaweed and the rock. You wrap the glowing piece of seaweed around the rock. To your surprise, the rock seems to absorb the seaweed and begins glowing. Wow. The rock is now glowing. Clutching the rock in your hand makes you feel very strange. Like you had the knowledge of centuries stored someplace in your brain. Save progress. Give it to the skeleton mouth. Following the mural, you place the glowing rock inside the skeleton's mouth. What's going to happen? <clears throat> oh my gosh. So you are the one the prophecies speak of. I am, yes, the one from the surface with the hair like fire. Your arrival pleases me. For it means I may finally rest. Yet it also disturbs me because it means the monster has been unleashed. I'm sorry, I didn't quite follow. I understand your confusion. I expect the Oracle told you to speak, seek me out and kill me. Well, yeah, but she did say that, actually. The Oracle knows as much about the sea people as the rest of the surface dwellers. Allow me to tell you the truth about the situation. This isn't going to be may take too long. If I'm, I'm sure how long this potion is going to last. I will keep it short. My people perished long ago. Like any ancient civilization, the world changed, and we did not see fit to change with it. We never took humans from the surface, as your legends claim. That was the work of a vicious monster who lived near our city. This monster is the last of the four sides, and it was the sworn oath of our people to keep it at bay. Alas, there were times when the actions of the surface dwellers disturbed the monster, and we could not do nothing but stop it from claiming the victims. When their civilization began to crumble, then we had subdued the beast that we knew of our prophecy, which said it would return someday. This prophecy also said that a fire-haired surface dweller would seek out a king, wrongly believing the monster's crook deeds to be those of the sea people. I was chosen to wait here until you found her and revived me, so I could tell you the truth and arm you for battle with the monster. Well, this is not is a lot to take in. But I believe you. What what do I need to do? Take this trident, return to the surface and wait on the beach. The monster will return for another victim. When it does, use the trident to slay it. Okay, I, I guess that shouldn't be too difficult. Go now, human. My thanks to you for allowing me to find the rest. Good luck, and may you find end the monster's infernal plague. And he's disappeared. He's found peace. Let's get the trident. An old and rusty looking trident is hanging in a previously hidden alcove. You take the trident and head back to the surface. Alright. So the sea people aren't responsible for all of this? Apparently not. It's the last of the four sides. Some kind of monster. I thought the four sides were the sea people. I thought so too, but it seems they just got a bad rap. All those legends were attributed to the sea people, but they really meant the monster. Blimey, talk about a case of mistake and identity. So what now? The sea person said the monster would be returning tonight, which means we have to wait for it. 
Sh should we go back to Agia Anna then? It is nearly sunset. Yeah, we're going to have to. An interesting night tonight. 